It's Shy from Politics and Fashion here today with five secret brands that I go to when it is time to shop wardrobe essentials. Now, why do I call these brands secrets? Because I feel like they don't get nearly enough love and shine, and so I'm trying to put y'all up on game. If you were interested, just keep watching. Now before I get started, I wanna give a shout out to where this video actually came from. And the idea was sparked by Kate over on TikTok who said, can you do a video on good basics to have and where to get them from? Yes, my friend, I can. I got you in today's video. And I want to really focus on those brands that may be a little bit more bespoke or under the radar. We all know of the big box stores, but these are brands that I myself for four out of the five have shopped at, but for all five have been enamored with items from over the years. And so let me just start by also saying that when I say the word or the phrase wardrobe essentials, I'm talking about those workhorses of your wardrobe, the blazers, the trousers, the denim, the items that you are going to wear day to day, year in and year out. They are the antithesis of a trend. These are not things that are going to be term limited or for the immediate future. They don't switch out for the most part year after year. I mean, a white button down shirt or a white t-shirt was the same when we were in high school as it is today. No matter your style pillar, these are items that we all love and I am excited to share some of my faves from some great brands with you today. First up is Dish, and Dish is an Australian brand. If you follow me over on social media, then you saw my Dish unboxing and how I went cuckoo crazy for Cocoa Puffs, girl. I was like, didn't nobody call and tell me nothing. Dish is showing up and showing out. Why have we not had a greater conversation about Dish? And I honestly think it's because the girls them don't be showing wardrobe essentials the love. I love a stunt piece. I do, I do, I do. But you cannot tell me that a brand like Dish don't also have the things. I can't be convinced. Not, not in the year of 2024, our Lord AD at the time of me filming this because this collection is cute. Let's start with the Willow Cream Cargo Pant. They have this pant in three colors. The cream has my heart. It is almost spring, honey, and a nice tonal look with that cream with a nice brown sandal and thought white, white toes will set it off. They also come in black as well as this really cool kind of army green. Ooh, the army green is on is on sale, okay? Um, and I can also say that I feel like their sizing is generous. I mean, it is a true-to-size brand. And so when I got a pair of linen pants from them over the summer, I may have actually gotten a size 6. And I feel like I am a truest eight these days in the hips and the butt because the curves are curving. But a six to an eight, perfect, fit me to the T. I did not have to get the waist taken in either. And so I was really pleased. And the length was good for me with a hem that could have been taken down. So if you are tall, dish is tall, girl friendly. I am 5'10 to 10 and a half for reference. So Dish's trousers definitely stick out to me. Like I said, I have a pair so I can vouch for them. But I also love their dresses because I just love the styling. I love the effortless feel and vibe of everything they have, but especially their dresses. This brown Presley chalk crew neck mini dress is it. And the fact that it goes up to a double XL for me feels somewhat size inclusive. Let's look at the fabrication, honey. Okay, so it's a blend. It's polyester, which I don't always love, but I always tell you all it needs to be a blend. So it's polyester and viscose, and viscose is a naturally derived fabric. It's non-sheer, and it has some good stretch to it. And if you just think about it, I mean, the way that if you are someone who has a curvy silhouette... This is going to hug in all the right places for sure. And I think if you have areas that you don't love, that's where fabric number one that is not sheer, but also fabric that has some texture to it is really important. Here's a quick plug for texture when we're talking about wardrobe essentials. I posted this recently over on TikTok. I was going out. And someone's response to me was um, a lesson in textures. And I appreciate you, friend. Because that is something that I think is so important when it comes down to making our basics pop. 
yes it may be a silhouette that is fairly simple like this dress is i mean it from a design perspective is not the most design forward but what it hits you with the heat for me is the texture of the garment and i think that this is really amazing with some bold gold accessories would definitely pop since it is almost spring i will lift up some of their warmer weather pieces any tank i want all of the tanks I need. I have the cream and black stripe one. I wore that all summer on vacation. Definitely got my cost per wear out of that. It is a heavy quality, a heavy knit. Um, it reminds me of some of the recommendations that I probably have heard here on YouTube about Massimo Duty, and I have a tank from Massimo du Duty, and I think this is even a heavier knit and quality. It is very, very well made. But outside of the tanks, I do like their linen, and specifically the Eva Black Linen Short. It's actually a scorned. That's cute. Yeah, we need that. Because at a big age too, Bring skorts back. It's not a lot of stuff I want to come back around to circle the block on us. But a skort, that was a good time. A skort, a skort was a good time. And when it's shorts at that or the, the length is short, I think it just works well. It's a, it's a no-brainer for me. And again, the styling. It is uh, elevated simplicity to its core. It's delicious dish. We love you. Now, you've heard me talk about the next brand. It is called Quince before. Um, I am on their PR list, but this is not sponsored. I genuinely love this brand because I don't know very many brands that specifically focus on high quality fabrication at an affordable price. So for example, almost everything on the website is going to be a natural material. It is all going to be cotton. If it is not cotton, it is going to be um, silk. If it is not silk, it's gonna be cashmere. If it's not cashmere, it's gonna be leather. Other things may be naturally derived like viscose. Maybe they have some tinsel on their website. But what I find to be the most important is that their price points are some of the best that I have seen on the internet in real life or otherwise. I think if you were someone that you were in a season of building this part of your wardrobe out, this would probably be my first stop as far as budget is concerned. Very simply because of the variety of what they have. Because the first thing that I'm going to show you, I don't know a lot of other brands that can beat this price. I'm sorry. I have not seen this in person, but given the quality of other items from them that I have, I'm going to just say we stand on business on this one. This 100% leather motorcycle, jack motorcycle jacket, I mean, it has 1,758 reviews and it has a five-star rating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That part comes in four colors from a large size extra small to extra large. We got black. And what I love about the black is that the buttons are also black. It looks like they're covered um, in leather. And so it's not such a stark contrast if you are someone who wears gold jewelry, although there are silver zippers from other parts of the jacket. It comes also in cognac and chocolate brown and we got burgundy on here as well. My favorite is the black and the cognac for sure. I don't need this cognac jacket, so I'm saying get the behind me. However, this leather one, yeah. I mean, I know faux leather jackets that are more expensive than $150. And this for me, as someone who does really enjoy wardrobe essentials, but an unbasic basic, as Halicia from I Know Lee might say, is part of my style aesthetic 100%. I cannot think of a time over the last 15 years where I have not had a motorcycle jacket. And if you are someone who wants to find interesting and fun ways to wear different kind of essentials or basics, then a motorcycle jacket is really important in my opinion because it instantly brings a lot of interest, fair, flair, excuse me, and a street style component to what you're wearing. It just feels edgy. And then we have a Nina Bing. And I'm going to do a little bit of a try on for y'all because this is one of my favorite brands. And I have been pretty open about that. I actually went down to visit them 
and saw their spring pieces a few weeks ago. I shared that over on TikTok and here on YouTube Shorts. Obviously, this is your reminder to make sure you are following me all across the internet because I've shared so much with y'all in this short video already about how these things are popping up in real life and how I'm communicating with you all in real time. And so I don't want you to miss anything. But I went down there and I always find pieces that I absolutely love. Let's start with my newest pieces that I would definitely recommend. One is a brand new pair of trousers. If you saw my vlog, I actually wore these at a Frank's event at Peloton that I went to a couple weeks ago um, or last week now. And uh, these trousers, silk slit on the side. It is an elastic waistband. Chef's kiss. I don't know how many ways I'm going to fall in love with black, but this just elevated, elevated my love even more. It is something about them being wide legs, something about the cut and how they lay that I am obsessed with. Now, my one caveat to Anina is that I do not believe that a lot of her pieces are curvy girl friendly. Um, I had to get these pants in a size extra large, for example, because the large was just hugging too much um, because of the booty. That's just what it is. And so if you were looking for certain pants from them and their denim especially I don't know that I would recommend depending on your body type however I do have a dress from them that I randomly got in a size medium and that is the dress that I wore on New Year's Eve they make this halter style and not just dresses but also tops there is a top I believe that is burgundy that is now on sale in this style again it's just the silk it feels so luxurious. The way it lays on your skin is just beautiful. It is impeccable, okay? Speaking of silk, I have two, because one wasn't enough, of the black silk skirts from them. And you used to have to pry this off my body. I'm not even going to hold you. In fact, I got it in a large because I felt like the medium was a little too tight. However, when I put the medium on now, I'm like, well, you didn't really need the large. It actually fits fine. Uh, somebody this morphia happening over here but it's interesting because i've been in this season of having to figure out what sizes and what brands do and do not work and i'm figuring that it is a lot more item specific and so i want to get better about sharing that with you all so if you are about my size medium in the skirts medium in the dresses larger extra large in some of the pants for sure Last thing I plug is she does amazing graphic tees and sweatshirts. I have about, I think, three graphic tees. Um, the last graphic tee I got is one of the signatures with the kind of a Nina Bing tiger. It feels almost vintage in um, material, which it, it just, everything feels so good on your skin. I know I keep saying that, but I don't know how else to describe it. You know, these do come in at a higher price point, but for me, if you're someone who loves fashion, you love style, you, you know, curate your items carefully, it's where I'm willing to go to spend a little bit more because it don't feel like the cotton at Target. No shade, I'll see. I mean, it just, it just don't. So, <laughs> I think it's worth the investment. And the newest sweatshirt I got from them, same thing. I mean, I didn't think I was going to love it. I tried on the t-shirt first, which I do love, by the way. I will probably get that this summer. But then I tried on the sweatshirt, and for this time of year, it was a no-brainer. Again, wore that in the blog as well, where I went to Frank's event, and I wore the trousers. And even together, I like these two pieces with a pair of Sambas, or my Jordans, or a pair of sandals, or a loafer. You you just get so much use out of these items and they all have a little bit of flair to them just a little bit more of a street style vibe it's very like it girl model off duty who anita being i think herself is if i'm not mistaken um the brand's namesake and the founder is a former model and so these pieces are what she would have had in her wardrobe and that's how the brand got started there are boutiques all over the country um in the case of the first two brands that is not true however for anita being you can go into a store the closest one if you were in the dc metro is in Bethesda. For my work wear girlies, we have got to lift up 
one known as M.M. LaFleur. I've worked with them before here and on social media. They are great brand partners. Again, not sponsored whatsoever, but I had to give my people some shine because I believe in their brand. And for me, I believe enough people are not wearing it work to weekend. I think we traditionally, and we've got to move past this mindset, y'all. We have a closet that includes work clothes, weekend clothes, vacation clothes, work clothes, lounge clothes, work clothes. <laughs> While some of these categories may not cross, right? You're not wearing your gym shorts to work. I understand that. There is a lot more fluidity than we would like to think in our garments. And especially when you begin to shop at a higher price point, you have to think that way in order to truly get your cost per wear out of each and every garment. Plus, if you blow in the bag, I don't want to keep that thing in my closet. I want the world to see, girl, let it shine. Let it shine, okay? And this is what I think about as it relates to M.M. LaFleur, okay? The suiting may be in a price category that all of us are not always used to spending at, but why are you only thinking about that suit as something that you can only wear to the boardroom? Blazers can be worn seven days a week, and in my opinion, so can trousers or so can skirts. And that is so true of this satin suit that I have that I picked up from them when I was in Chicago. The brand gifted it to me. Thank you so much. And I cannot wait to wear it with a graphic tee. And I'm going to wear it with a pair of stilettos pumps in the club, but I could also wear it with a pair of sneakers. Now, I've been known to do that with an M.M. LaFleur suit for sure. But I love the way that this suit in particular looks because of one thing in particular. They have very cleverly designed it to be a suit which is a conservative or business garment but for it to be casual in that the jacket has these little pull ties on the side to kind of cinch it in and the pants are cargoes. So you already know I'm about to throw that thing on with a graphic tee and make it do what it do. And similarly, I would take this same blazer and cave it over my shoulders and wear it with the silk dress by Anina Bing with a cute strappy sandal. And that's a look for the evening or for date night or for a gala or fundraiser or for a show at the Kennedy Center. These are not items that can only be worn one way. That is the entire purpose of a wardrobe essential and why I would recommend M.M. LaFleur, especially if you are someone who is into suiting. If you want to just jump out there and do something strange for some change, where I want you to land at is Joseph. And let me know down below if you have ever shopped anything from Joseph. I found this brand probably about three or four years ago now. Down at maybe Farfetch and down at um, over on Farfetch or Net a Porte, another kind of like big box retailer that has a number of brands. And from the beginning, I was just in love. I feel like the cuts of their pieces are interesting. And let me give you an example of that. This is luxury, so just keep that in mind. The tweed Josset jacket. <laughs> So oh, man, you see how that thing got that asymmetrical cut across the front? That collar is high. It's pronounced. We like that. They had the nerve to crop it. Oh, but wait, the matching pants are high waisted. They're pleated, and they have a slouchy feel in the front. Don't fret if that crop jacket isn't for you. We can also do it in the tweed Glenview jacket. Same fabrication. I'm gonna give that tens across the board. And I also think that this color is delicious. I think that if you live in the Northeast and you're thinking about what do you wear when it's a bright, sunshiny day, but it's also still pretty cool outside, these are the kind of transitional pieces that I would love to have in my wardrobe personally. I think about if I was still practicing traditionally and I was going to court every day, girl, you think I wouldn't? And then you hit them with the heat with those doggone, um, my gold, my gold boots, my gold Dries Van Not and boots. Your Honor, to show you how you're making appearance. <laughs> May it please the court. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what you put on when you got business to handle. That right there. I, I, I like that a whole, whole lot. I don't need it, but it's calling my name.
It is calling my name so loudly. I just have to scroll through their new end section a lot, honestly. I, I just, I feel like it's so many items on here that are too good to name. And what I also like about them is that their signature pieces, they're going to make in multiple colors. And so if there's something that you really do love the cut and the style of, no worries, you're going to find it in multiple different colors. And the last thing I'll say is their cardigans. So just as a point of reference, I went over to the Kate website and I see their cardigan that the girls love called the Scarlet Cardigan. If I'm correct, is now 2000, this is 2000 US dollars and pray to God y'all are not paying that for this. I, I hope that maybe this is like the special exclusive drop because there's no way. Wait, let me check the fabrication because something is off. It's no way. Hmm. It's curious. It's no judgment. You work, spend your money how you choose. But if you got two bands for that, I'm wondering how you feel about the uh, Stitch Cardigan by Kate. What I really enjoy about this is the um, lines in the fabric that are on the sleeves as well as around the collar and the hemline. I think that's delicious. Give me a good old tie to something any old day. A good wide sash. Bring sashes back. What happened to a sash? I remember the days. Bring this, the sash on this is really doing it for me. I also love the color. Why do they do her hair like this? This is disturbing. Okay, we need, we need Joseph to get some more black people on staff as it relates to styling. The art direction is way off here in my opinion. I just, I, I scrolled and when I caught the bag is when that monstrosity really hit me. But nevertheless, let's focus. Let's focus. What I really, really, really like is the also monochromatic point of this. Can you not see this? with these pants and this turtleneck. I don't know if what, why the dress is there, but think about it. Everything in this colorway. And also the winter white, the deliciousness of that as it juxtaposition. Yeah, that would be, you know what else would really eat with this too? Another jewel tone. What if you did a burgundy? No, oh wait, wait, hold on. Take off the cardigan. I do love it, take that off. Take that quince burgundy moto or that quince cognac moto with this cardigan and these trousers and put on a nasty boot the interchangeability is endless with essentials i mean i've showed you in this video how i would kind of cross pollinate pieces from different retailers just not even having them in front of me so think about if you actually have these kinds of things in your wardrobes how they can be the building blocks for your style and those are my five brand recommendations, places where I would go from more affordable all the way to luxury around finding great wardrobe essentials. They are the secrets that the girls have been keeping from you. And today I felt like it was my duty, my obligation to the tribe to put y'all up on game. Let me know your thoughts down below. What was your favorite item? Have you ever shopped at any of these brands? And also, do you have any recommendations for videos in the future? I would love to know. Follow me all across the internet. In the meantime, I will see you good people next time. Peace.